what the big picture is. How much can they make and how quickly they can do it. And if Steve did 15 million in 10 years, I want to go out there and try to do it as well. They love challenges. That's what they love about it. And that's how these sharks operate. That's how they think. They want to know what's possible. Dolphins. When you're meeting with a dolphin, try your best to be like a dolphin. Mirror them. <laughs> Smile, be happy, jump around. Hey! Whatever you got to do to act like a dolphin, right? <laughs> Talk about fun and exciting ambit experiences. Talk about fun things. Talk about, um, talk about fun that you have at ambition events or simulcast events. You know, at, at a party at ambition. You know, the grand finale party. Talk about ambit holiday parties. Talk about a five-star trip. If you weren't on it, you know, you heard different stories of Miguel showed pictures of the five-star. Talk about fun and exciting things that happen in Ambit Energy. The money might not motivate them, but being around people and having fun, that's what might motivate these people. So when I meet a dolphin, I start smiling, I'm happy with them, I talk about some experiences, and I show the video, I tell more fun stories, and a lot of them want to do it. I'll, I'll tell you one story. I had a guy I personally sponsored in the business, and he said to me, oh yeah, I want to show my, my, my cousin. So his cousin was coming to my office to show the presentation. But before the cousin came, I said, tell me about your cousin. So he told me about what he does for a living, and he said, oh, he just got back from Las Vegas. He loves having a good time and all that. I said, okay, great. This guy's a dolphin, right? So he came, we watched the presentation. I showed him the magazine, watched the video. He was like, oh, I like it. You know, but I just want to, I want to just think about it a little bit, little bit longer. I said, hey, man, besides making money and doing this, I said, you got to see the stuff we do. Like, he doesn't know that I knew that he went to Vegas and was having a good time. I said, besides this, we have an event called Ambition down in Dallas. It's at the American Airlines Arena where the Dallas Mavericks play, and there's 15,000 people there, and they have concerts and bands and kickball events and just singing and dancing. Such an amazing time. He's like, alright, I want to sign up. <laughs> so the money didn't get him. But once I mentioned the buttons, I spoke the language of the dolphin and told him about the fun things that we do besides making the money that's what got him super excited and wanted to know more about it and, get, and he got started right there on the spot because I spoke the language of that, of that dolphin Whales. Again, when you meet with a whale, you want to tell them all about Ambit, how it's changing lives, telling stories. Tell stories of a whale. Don't tell a story about a dolphin to a whale, but tell stories how Ambit's changing lives. Say, I went to this event on Saturday, and I heard this guy's testimonial, and it was great. It did this, and it's helping all these things, and giving people all these lifestyles. You want to find out the whales, why, and their passion. Find out what motivates them and drives these people. Okay? It might be feeding the homeless. They might be doing all different things for charities. So you want to, when you meet with a whale, you want to share maybe one to three different stories of people that are similar like them. You know, and, and share those stories, show a video, talk about our Ambit Cares program, how Ambit does different things for the Feed the Homeless and different events that we do. And it's great. They raise money. That's what is going to get these people excited. It's not totally the money. How Ambit can help them achieve their why and their passion about helping more people. So I have people that I knew that I showed them the presentation not interested. Not interested at all. But then I mentioned, so I have one friend that I played football with my whole life. We played a lot. We won championships together and this guy plays football. He's, well, he's retired now from playing, but he has his own football league and he runs with little kids and he organizes all these teams to play. So he looked at the presentation and it's like, ah, oh, he's on the fence thinking about it. And I said, Steve, I said, you know what? Besides you making money with Ambit, which is great, I said, I know you're really passionate about football and doing things. I know you have the organizations, the 9-11 League. I said, what if we were able to take the money that we make in Ambit Energy and use it to help fund your football league? Wouldn't you like to give out better trophies, better prizes, have better tournaments, maybe better uniforms, better equipment, maybe less startup costs to join the league? You get more people in and help more people? He's like, really? Signed up. So it wasn't the money for him, it was about making the money with Ambit to go out there and help fund his passion of his league to help children and do different things for the children. That's what drove him and got him excited. So you speak the language of, of, the, of that person and that's what gets these people. The sea urchin. 
This is probably going to be your longest meeting. So be prepared. Bring breakfast, bring lunch, uh, <laughs> bring a case of water. But they're going to be a little bit longer. If you show them a five minute video, they're not going to get everything. They're not going to process everything. You want to get them a presentation that's going to show everything, all the details. Um, they want to break down what. I want to break down. I actually, when I go to meet a sea urchin, I actually take out a, a free energy bill. I'll show them a sample bill of the free energy. I'll bring a calculator. They probably have a calculator. They want to add up the numbers and make sure that Con Edison added it up right. But I'll show a sample bill. I'll show a free energy. I'll bring a pen and paper. And what I do with them, I'll actually draw it out on a piece of paper after I show them the video. Okay, you invest $101.60. You're going to go and join and you're going to get these two customers. You make 100 Then you go and get two more customers you make another hundred dollars and I'll show the breakdown on how they get it out. I'll actually draw it out to a sea urchin and show them. But be prepared that they're probably going to ask a lot of questions and get, you get your upline on the phone, do a three-way call. They're probably not going to join right then and there on the spot. They're probably not. The, the think is of it. Show them exactly how they'll make their investment back. They'll not like to sign up on the spot. They need to process the information, guys. They need to process it different. A shark will take action immediately and probably get started right there on the spot if you do it the right way. Um, and same thing with, with a dolphin or a whale. They can get on pretty quick if you hit the right buttons that it's, you get them. But a sea urchin's probably not. They need to process the information. If they mentally decide, if they're viewing all the information and doing whatever research they need to, and they decide on joining, they are committed for life. Because in their mind, they ran all the numbers, they processed everything, and they said, this is a good opportunity. I want to get in and do this. They'll be with you in ambit for life. They will. Because in, in their mind, it totally makes sense to them, and they want to go out there and, and do this. Some people are just dominant one type. Some people have a mix of two. Some have a little bit of three, a little bit of four. You want to focus on definitely the strongest type and maybe touch on the second type. So if somebody has three or four, don't touch on all of them. This will be confusing. Focus on their strongest type and maybe just touch a little bit on, the, on their second type with these people. Mixing different personality types could totally be a disaster. I think you know what I'm talking about. So if you approach a sea urchin as a dolphin, it's not going to work out too well. It's like speaking a different language to that prospect. But if you can learn this and master it, guys, mastering these four personality types, I think can help totally, totally explode your recruiting numbers in the business. Like I mentioned before, why do people recruit more than others? It's 85% about you. You gotta sell yourself to that person. You gotta let them wanna be your business partner. They gotta be happy around you. They gotta be excited. They gotta look at you as a person who's a leader, a person that, that they like, that they could trust, that they could bring around to meet their family and that's what's going to come about this right you're probably going to meet their family and friends and they have to feel comfortable with you but if you could take that with some of the scripts that we heard from today and use this i think you'll all be recruiting machines and every one of you guys could do this every one of you could do i don't care your age or your background if you just learn this stuff and just keep doing it tr learn by trial and error is how i figured out stuff just trying things if it works stick with it if it doesn't work change things tweak things adjust things to figure out what work and do things that make you feel comfortable if approaching one way doesn't work for you, you don't feel comfortable don't do that talk to people have a normal conversation let ambit come up into the conversation and that's how you get people interested in the business Final tip, and I got it. You know what? Let me jump into something else real quick. So I got another, another. I shared it yesterday at dinner, but I got another recruiting tip called a uh, hole, hole in the wall recruiting. <laughs> Sounds pretty weird. You'll laugh if you know what I'm talking about. So one day I was home with my children, and I forget if they were sick, but I really couldn't leave the house. So I was home, and I'm saying, how am I going to recruit some people as I'm home in the house? So I go and I, I, I look in the house and there was the corner in my kitchen. There was a corner and I guess maybe the kids banged the chair and the, and the chair kept cracking the, the little sheetrock on the corner of the edge of a wall. So there was a hole there and the wall was all messed up. So now I have all these contractors that work for me for my property. So I didn't call one of them, but they already am customers or consultants. So I go into like we have this little marketeer newspaper thing, and it's all contractors. So I go and call up this contractor. Hey, I got some work in my house. Can you come by and check this out? 
So the contractor comes, looks at the job, he says, okay, it's gonna be this much money to fix this job. So I said, okay, at that point. Now I do it two ways. Either I do it with a business card or I just speak and talk. So I said to this particular guy who I had no idea who he was, guy knocked on my door, five minutes later he gave me a price. I said to him, hey, you ever hear of this company? And he goes, Ambit Energy. He goes, no, I haven't heard of that. I go, read the back of that card. Tell me if that makes sense. So he looks at the card and he says, do you know anyone that uses electricity and natural gas? He goes, yeah, of course. Would they like to pay less for it to get it for free? He's like, yeah, of course they would. Would you like to earn a residual income, potentially thousands of dollars in bonuses, by referring to that person to the, by referring people to that program? He goes, you get paid to get people free energy? I said, yeah, I've been doing it a few years now. He's like, really? I said, sit down, you gotta see this. <laughs> I sat this complete stranger down in my living room, put the DVD in the machine, and I hit play. He signed up, he became a senior consultant as, as well. So if you want to recruit more people, buy a hammer, go around your house, just knock a couple holes in the wall, and that's how you go out there and find different people. But I did it with air conditioning too, and my heating and air conditioning needed to get my filters changed. I didn't call my regular AC guy, I called a different guy out of the same newspaper and got somebody else to come, I sponsored somebody else. But I find ways to meet people, I just be cre creative. You know, you don't need to put a hole, but I'm sure you can find something that might need some work. But that's what I, I just find different ways, I think out of the box, find different ways to get in front of people and just mention it to them. And it works, I show the, pre, I show the presentation. Now I mentioned to you that I turned Ambit down nine and a half years ago when the first guy tried to pitch me and sell me and convince me on the phone, I said no. Eight and a half years ago, my best friend called me up and here's how he approached me. Now eight and a half years ago, guy, I told you I was working over 100 hours a week. If my buddy Nick called me up and said, Mike, I got a new business I wanna to talk to you about, I would've said, Nick, listen, I'm just way too busy right now. Maybe call me in a couple months, we'll talk about it. He didn't approach me that way. So if you ever have somebody who's extremely, extremely busy, here's what Nick said to me and I'm so happy he did it the right way. He, approached, he called me up, he said, Mike, Jen and I are considering starting a business with a company called Ambit Energy. Before we do it, I wanna get your opinion and your advice as my best friend, as a business owner, if we should do this. He said, do me a real big favor. He goes, take down this website and if you can tonight, a really, it's really important to me, it means a lot. If you could look at this quick 20 minute video, just let me know if Jen and I should do this. And I got to make a decision by first thing in the morning, so can you please do it tonight? I get home that day at two in the morning, tired, just worked over 20 hours straight, had to get back up again at 4.30, but I remember I went into my den, I went to my desktop computer, and I took out a, a pad of paper and a pen, and I watched the Carlos Marin Energy 526 video, taking notes, thinking I'm gonna give Nick advice. And when I seen that presentation, I knew halfway I was doing this. I called Nick back, I said, Nick, you are doing this, and I'm doing this as well. Nick said to me, Mike, I'm already a consultant. I didn't even realize it said, it said, it said team, it said team Patterson on the website. I didn't get annoyed. I was more thankful and happy that he got me to see it. And as I was doing that, I said, oh my God, this is the same thing that so-and-so called me about a year ago. You know, I wish that first guy would have just showed it to me the right way, but he didn't. He tried to talk and explain and convince and I said no, and I passed. The second guy said very little, asked for my help, created a timeline, put a timeline on it, got me to see it, and I got started immediately. Final tip. This is my golden nugget, silver bullet. I think this will help you get more customers, it'll help you get more consultants, it'll help you overall in life with almost anything. Become an amazing person. Become a better person in every single way that you can, and it will help you get a lot more customers, a lot more consultants. Help more people, do more favors for people. Don't be such a, a Scrooge and a negative, be a happy person, help people, go out of your way, support more people. I can't tell you how many businesses or friends that I support. I can't tell you how many times I overpay for different things because just to help their businesses, but it comes back to you. When I need to get customers or consultants or referrals, for that's how, I, when I had a booming mortgage company, I never bought a lead or didn't spend a dollar on advertising and marketing. Not a penny. Because I helped so many people with other things that when I needed referrals or I needed customers or consultants, when I give people referrals for things for starting their business, when I say, hey, I need you for 30 minutes, they're giving me their time. 
Because I do so many things. So just support more people. Donate your time. Donate your money. Help an organization. Help a charity. Just become a connector like I spoke about before. Help people. Just become a better person in all aspects of life. And it's going to come out with you. Do more things when, no, when nobody's watching. Don't always have to do something if people are looking. Because you're going you're gonna to feel so much better about yourself when you're doing good things. And when you're feeling better, you're acting better, and you're being more positive, your results are going to become much more and more positive. I promise you this. So don't be a negative. Don't be a, a Scrooge. Go out there. Be happy. Smile. Help people. Support people. Do whatever you can for everybody. And you watch how it's going to change you in, with ambit, with life, with business, with different things, relationships. But just become a better person. And that's pretty much it, guys. I think we're going to turn it back to these guys. I think we're doing a, a national consult Q&A session. But I hope you guys got a lot out of it. Just go out there and take massive action. Thank you so much. Yes. All right, give it up one more time for National Consultant, Mike Obey. And if we can have all of our, our speakers, our National Consultants, come on up. So a round of applause again for National Consultant, Mike Obey. Come on up. For National Consultant, number three income earner, Mr. Steve Thompson. Give it up. Come on up, gentlemen. And we have National Consultant.